In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the blur effect inside iMovie, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. If you want to learn how to spend less time making more videos, start by clicking that subscribe button now. All right, so today I'm showing you how to make the background blurry in iMovie. I'm gonna share with you my exact process for doing so. It's quite quick and easy, so stick with me to the end of the video to see it all come together. To start, you need to have a video clip imported into your media bin, then drag it down to your timeline. Next, we'll click up here on the Titles tab or use the keyboard shortcut Command 3. And we'll scroll down to find a Pull Focus Title. Now, you may be thinking, why are we creating a title? And well, we're actually not. But we are using the blur effect inside the title itself to create the blurry background. So click, drag, and drop the Pull Focus Title down to your timeline and place it on top of your video clip. Go ahead and use the trimming tool to extend the title layer throughout the length of your clip. Now, double click in the title layer to open up the title tool in this window, which will display the default text highlighted, and then simply press delete on your keyboard to delete the text. As you can see, you now have a blank title layer, but with the blurry background you're looking to achieve. If you want it to be more blurry, then export the clip as a movie. Then, re-import the new clip back into iMovie and apply the Pull Focus title again to add an additional layer of blur to your clip. Repeat as many times as needed. Now, if you're looking to have this effect with on-screen text, then click back on the title layer itself and type in your text to use the Pull Focus title as an actual title layer. It's important to note the pull focus title can only be placed on top of a video or photo layer and cannot be placed independently on the timeline as a standalone title layer. In my professional recommendation, if you're looking to achieve this effect in the future, just go ahead and shoot blurry video. If you haven't already downloaded my before you shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. And if you want to watch more videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the release of our new videos. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.